And my voice just cried. Oh my god. Hi, Flowers! Auto Kirby is here! And today, we are going to play Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So, I'm pretty sure you guys rec rec uh, recognize this because this is basically a remake of the game uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland that, uh, that was actually released in the Wii version. And now, years later, here it is. It's got remade into a Switch version. Oh crap. No, 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 no game. Come on, please. And yes, I really feel nostalgic about this because not only this was actually one of the greatest Kirby games that I played, especially in the Wii version. You know, even I enjoyed this more this you know more than the uh, more than the epic uh, you know, epic yarn. But it was also one of the early uh, one of the games that I actually played back when I just started streaming on Twitch. And yes, it has so much of nostalgic back then. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and play what how this would actually be uh, different than the original counterpart, which I already can tell because, well, for one, the you know the design, you know the you know, the textures of the game is actually surprising. It's actually different than the original one, and second of all, the DDD, uh, DDD uh, character design has been changed. <laughs> As well, I think he actually looks more closer to the Kirby 64 one, I believe. Yeah, he actually, yeah, he actually kind of had, uh, he had his eyes kind of got smaller, and not to mention his mouth or I don't know what kind of bird, I, kinda, I don't know what kind of bird, you know, you know, DDD is, but yeah. Ah, uh, let's not connect. Or maybe that was a bad idea. Okay, well, you know, what? if I need to turn on, the turn in the turn on in, I can already tell because under the options in the mod selection. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, get rid of Rumble because. Let's just let's just change and then let me actually turn it on. Okay, okay. Anyway, sorry for that. Sorry for being uh, sorry for dragging it on. Let's go ahead and go into the main mod. Oh, it's a past adventures. Yeah, at some point, you know, Kirby's actual Kirby game actually does tell you what are the what are the, those games that are actually released in the past and yeah, triple deluxe, DDD's Dream uh, Drum Dash Deluxe. I don't know why this was a thing, which is actually a bonus content for this game, triple deluxe. But I guess they still want they still wanted to do a release it somehow and Rainbow Curse. Actually, this is one of the games I, I actually do not regret. Uh, for not buying it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and we could play Rabbit World War, I really enjoyed it, but man, this was actually pretty dang difficult. Blow Up Blast, and... I believe Blow Up Blast is actually when they actually decided to make Kirby into 3D games, and I really think that they actually think that, you know, the 3D games for Kirby actually turned out well. Especially right in, in here, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and... Yeah, anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, let's go ahead. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously, game? Oh, sorry, come on. Yeah, that was me, me, me being stupid, but... Here it is, story mode. So yeah, uh, I will actually put an, in the a link in the description below for my YouTube. Uh, uh, you know, for those who are actually wondering about how, how I, how my, you know, commentary was back then. For, the, for my original Wii version of the game and oh my gosh <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be really really cringy back at the time because I was you know my you know my comment was still stuttering back then and that was me when I was still yet to haven't gotten gotten the grasp of how to stream back then but I won't lie I, I still think I did a pretty dang good job for being a newbie so Ah, good old memories, I won't lie. Good old memories.
Oh yes, energy spheres. Getting all those was certainly not a, not a walk in the park, even in the original. I like how there aren't any, uh, there aren't actual, you know, the dialogues in the, in this part because, I mean, they could, you know, they could have, you know, they could have actually, you know, be, you know, and tell something like, uh, you know, be like, oh no, my energy sphere. So then, the, you know, the Maglodon, oh no, the energy sphere, it's gone. What should I do? And then Kirby, you know, the narrator could have said, Kirby, Kirby was like, don't worry, I can, I can fix that ship for you. And it's like, and Maglodon, why? Thank you. And then, you know, according to my according to, to my main CP, CPU, the the all parts for my ship is scattered all around, and they are here, 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 and there. They could have done that, but. I guess sometimes words aren't that necessary to explain the whole situation, so... That's what's up. <laughs> Adventuring with Maglor. A visitor named Maglor has dropped out of the blue and landed on Planet Popstar. He is ready to lend a helping hand during your adventure. Helping Maglor is here to help. Uh, he will give you potions that double your stamina and can save you from falling down holes. This will also activate auto swallow for Kirby. Would you like for Magular, Helper Magular to help you while you play? You can change your Helper Magular or auto swallow settings at any time in the pause menu. Okay. Oh, not that. Yeah, let's just actually go ahead and play and see how helpful Magler, uh, you know, what I call the easy mode version actually like. And then if I feel like I need to add more spices to it, then yeah, yeah I'll just go ahead and turn it off. And here it is, level 1, Cookie Country! By the way, I'm actually playing this on the D-pad, not the actual controller, so... I mean, if I need- if I do need the rises, I will actually sw oh, yeah. Let's just say I'll alternate between, you know, the control state and the D-pad. But anyway, play together at any place or time by sharing Joy-Con controllers. Up to four people can play together. You can even play as some of Kirby's friends. Drop in or out whenever you want, uh, want with the touch of a button. If your controller won't connect, then enter the controller sec a section of the pause menu to register controller. Yep. And there it is. Yeah, I don't think there's actually a like they haven't done gone through. They've actually made a big difference. Uh, yeah, yeah, big difference. Uh, between this game and, you know, then the original one. I believe the only one that actually they changed is that they actually added some more content, you know, more mini games to play that was actually from the past games. As much as well as... You know, as well as that they actually added some new copying ability, which I believe I actually showed it in a, in a demo version, but we'll actually find out more. Yeah, I'm really glad they actually kept this up, you know, you know, for, you know, what, 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 what are the button command for? Because that was actually one of my probably pet peeve, or uh, that was actually one of my uh, small complaints about the return to the, uh, uh, the you know, the, I uh, forgot to land because, well, I really, I mean, oh, I was about to go for Firebird, but, but you, you know, what else? But yeah, I... Yeah, probably one of my, uh, you know, r one rare uh, complaints about the uh, Forgotten Land is that they actually didn't show the command, you know, what they actually, what, what, uh, what's the button input, what, uh, what you should be doing that, so. Energy Sphere found. Energy Spheres are scattered across the land, trying to find all of the hidden ones. You can press uh, Y, but I actually prefer going for the, you know, the minus button. 
Start, uh, because that way you can't instantly, uh, you know, discard your copying abilities. I mean, sometimes instant, you know, uh, you know, copying ability, you know, discarding your copying abilities can be really important. You know, where that means you're, you know, you're like, oh no no no, I don't want, I, you know, I don't want to throw away this ability. You know what? Let's let's just skip it. You know, you can be like that. Yeah, you, you see how there's actually a bit of a delay right there. Like that, so that can help you. I mean, if you don't want to, if you want to, if you actually have a second thought at that, you know, have a, at that single moment, I know for a second that you want to keep your abilities, they can be helpful. They can be helpful. But I just want to discard my copying abilities at once, most if not all that is. And here it is, uh, the new mechanic that was introduced in uh, in this game. Yeah, they actually changed uh, that you know, super ability right here. And yep, here it is, super ability. And one of them is actually... And here it is right here, Ultra Sword. And I think you guys have may have realized that uh, as my name, you know, Ultimate Kirby. Oh, and hey, that's the big sword from Forgotten Land. But yeah, uh, for those who still don't know, uh, what my name... You know, my, what my name and my, you know, my, you know, the... You know, the... You know, Bio info, you know, the, the, my, you know, you know, the profile picture is originated from. It actually originated uh, in here, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Because once I actually saw, you know, the Ultra Sword ability in Kirby's Wii, I actually thought that was actually a freaking amazing ability. And yeah, I just got sucked into this worm or whatever it, is, whatever it is. So yeah, I and I just really thought it was very cool. It was very you know, dope move to have. So I wanted to have my, you know, back, you know, this was yeah. So when I actually Felt the name. I actually need to change my, you know, change my, you know, the my, you know, you know, my, you know, overall names. You know, my YouTube name. You know, my Twitch name. You know, and my SNS name, uh, SNS profile name, and whatnot. I decided to go for the Ultra Sword ability. You know, but I just, but I didn't want to, you know, go for exact, you know, control, 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 uh, you know, control, copy and control paste. But I just wanted to make a little difference. That's when I actually did uh, watch this other game and actually had, had learned the world Ultima and then I decided to go for that. And yep, and that's how my nickname Ultima Kirby has been... That, that That's the origin or... I just got a little overstatement, but that's basically the lore to how my, my you know, name Ultima Kirby was actually originated from. I know some people did not, probably did not want that to... Uh, learn that, but you know, I just wanted to share with you all. Anyway, that spear dimmer is done like a dinner. I should hold up. Yeah, sorry about that. It was just a stupid phone call. Yeah, and yes, I cannot turn off my phone stream uh, when I actually stream it. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, do pardon me if you actually get, uh, if I do get a phone call or has that phone ringing some something like that. But yeah, most if not all, I'll. Uh, I will not respond that, but if I need to call, then yeah, I'm sorry, but I'll just have to do that. And that's a rare third three coin, thirty coins. I mean, yeah, these stars actually basically act like uh, you know, you know, the classic uh, coin from classic Mario games. Anyway, I almost forgot about this gold game for Kirby. I barely made it to the top one. And there's that Illuminati Victory Dance for Kirby. Yeah, I think they slightly nerfed the prize for being for getting for getting to top one. Because um I believe if I if I remember correctly, uh you always get one up whenever you actually make it to the top. Uh, you know the top. But uh you actually get a one up, but not this time though, I guess that's one of the... That's also one difference for how... That's the one difference between this one and the original one. And surprisingly, they didn't change that in the demo version. But then again, this game uh, will actually will still give you plenty of life, uh, plenty of one-ups or lives even without that, so... Yeah, I don't know you guys actually, if you guys actually enjoyed, uh, uh, if you actually enjoyed this. Like, okay. Just a little question to you guys is that, did you guys actually enjoy this game more than the Epic Yarn for the original Wii version? Or it was actually the opposite? Or did you enjoy the Epic Yarns more than this game? 
I personally believe this was actually my this was actually my favorite. Uh, I actually did enjoy. I prefer this one over the epic yarn. Uh, uh, yeah, epic yarn. I'm not saying the epic yarn was bad or anything like that, but I was kind of a little bamboozled about how that was actually one of the a uh, few games that you know Kirby's. You know what I did. I think they, in a way, sort of did keep the, you know, Kirby, you know, they actually kept the original Kirby's concept uh, for that game because, yeah, a lot of people may not know this, but Kirby's, uh, you know, very early in the game, you know, when Kirby was actually made his first appearance in the game, which I believe was a Game Boy series, Kirby couldn't actually copy the appeal, uh, copy the opponents. All he could do was you know, he could, he was floating in the air. He could just inhale it and it's a speed, all kinds, all kinds of bunch in the, uh, for enemies. So yeah, anyway, watch out for that. Uh, if you actually get, yeah, if uh, you can actually get flattened by this thing is, and if you get flattened, I believe it's it's instant KO. I believe uh, it's it's yeah, it's instant KO. So. Or maybe they actually changed that to where instead of going for instant KO, they probably made it don't they made it like you know it's not instant KO, but it's gonna take away quite a bit of your HP. But yeah, yeah, because back then you know Kirby couldn't actually inhale. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, he couldn't copy the uh yeah he couldn't copy the abilities. So that's what's up anyway. Hey, we got ourselves a little gun to shoot. Hey, gun, 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 gun. And remember, it's at, uh, and it's I believe it is at this very moment, you know, because uh, one can say, you know, Cur uh, they probably in the staffs were of Hell Laboratory was thinking they would actually probably go for the, you know, you know, they would actually probably go for the, you know, have have ability a gun ability for Kirby, and I believe I actually did hope was hoping that would be a thing for Kirby, but they actually made it happen. They have hacked. Had this Ranger Kirby uh, for Kirby uh, Forgotten Land, and I was so really excited about that. If nothing else, that's actually one of my favorite uh, abilities. Uh, uh, yeah, abilities for Kirby uh, from the Forgotten Land series. But if, uh, but if you actually rotate it while using the needle ability, you can actually spread it out, and you can be you can do what you know the King Scene did back in the Kirby uh, in the DK, DK, DKC two. Anyway, we have we have ourselves a little secret room. And here we got ourselves an invincibility candy. Let's go! Oh yeah, let's not forget if there's a second one right here. Yeah, this energy sphere, not only they are pretty much well hidden, but also they are there there are some part of the stages to where you actually gotta uh, you actually yeah, you actually you actually need to I uh, actually have to get it in, in pretty much first try because if you don't get it in first try, then yeah, GG, you have to start this all over again. I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if that was actually uh, yeah, because I kind of don't like the kind of pressure to be on, uh, to be honest. <laughs> and here it is. Let's, in let's inhale that. But yeah, but yeah, I really like how, you know, some of these characters, they actually do develop every as the time goes on. You know, such as, you know, how Mario, you know, all he could do was he was, you know, doing the jump. Yeah, oh, I almost forgot about this. Yeah. You know, you know, Cur just you know, Kirby couldn't actually eat copy, but I believe in Kirby's adventure, you know, he was able to, you know, now he can actually copy the op opponent. And yeah, here it is. Now Kirby and I can actually go into 3D, and then now he actually has super ability. It's just character development is so freaking real, dude, guys. It's so freaking real. That was a nice, clean. Goal game. Ba -da 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 -dum, ba -dum, ba -da 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 -dum, bam.
Oh? Mary Magdalene is now open. Magdalene has built an amusement park on a distant planet. It's filled with attractions and souvenirs. You can visit at any time by pressing X. I'll probably gotta pay a visit a little later, a little after this. Oh. I wanted to, I wanted that ability. Now I'll press for later. I didn't actually respond back then. Yeah, I think Spark ability is actually one of the most broken uh, abilities uh, in this entire game. One uh, one of them. You can actually charge it like that. If you were to take a D-pad or control state, you can charge up and then bam. If you press up, you can you can just thunder shot like that. And if you can press down, you can just uh yeah, down strike it. Yeah, like that. One thing that's kind of a little bamboozles me though is that I still, even to this day, I still don't know what is the difference between, you know, the spark and the plasma abilities because I think the only difference between the spark and the plasma was that you know the you know the spark can only like spark you, can, you know where you actually you know where you actually attack and you, you know you it creates some kind of yeah don't forget yeah for, don't forget about the energy sphere right here. But you can only like create, you can only do this kind of move where you actually discharge yourself. That was all there is to it. But as for T, but as for plasma, you know, you, you only charge like that and then you can actually shoot. You can only shoot this, you know, electrical, ele electrical wave. That's all there is to it. But I think they, I think, I think High Level Trick decided to, you know, get rid of uh, this. I think. Yeah, I think, you know, it's fair to say that Hell Laboratory decided to, you know, uh, you know, yeah, decided to just combine Spark. You know, they re removed the Plasma and de decided to add uh, more abilities from Plasma and then make it into pl uh, into Spark ability. I think, I think, uh, in a way, they kind of did that too, though, especially for the... A fire ability because there's yet another fire a uh, fiery ability for the Kirby games and now it's also called burning to where yeah if the fire ability fire Kirby ability which I'm gonna do show it right here speaking of Kirby yep speak of the devil is that all thing yeah uh this was basically all he could do you know you, you know having a fire breath but burning one abilities he actually had this you know where you actually do fire uh, dash like that so I really think that was actually a good because that way you don't actually have to, you know, force yourself to discard one ability to another because I don't think there's a. I was like, what? What's the need to, you know, what? Now yeah, is there? I mean, is there any? Is there any necessary that you actually have to combine? You know, have to separate these two same abilities? Why not just combine this one and make it like you know, make it like uh, make it into one? You know, something like. I mean, you 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 guys know what I'm saying, right? I mean, I would be fine as well because, it, you know, if they would actually make the, you know, fire Kirby into a burning, you know, burning Kirby ability, you know, you know, you know, the way, you know, burning copy ability for Kirby would actually have the fire Kirby ability as well. Anyway, we have a bit of a new, uh, another new interesting gimmick, and that's a key to where um, Kirby cannot actually float while, you know, he, he cannot float. Nor he can actually use the copy ability while he's carrying something like that. So you gotta be really careful because controls while Kirby carrying something like that is actually no joke. I oh, that actually got me quite a few times. Okay, they actually kept that as well because that's good. Because one thing one thing I really don't understand about the beam ability uh, is that. I cannot recall whether it was yeah, but whether it was the triple deluxe they actually happened the triple deluxe or maybe it was uh playing Robobot. And yeah, I just fell down like that. That was that was stupid of me. But yeah, one thing I kinda didn't like about beam ability, especially in the either triple deluxe or uh, playing Robobot, is that they actually remove this uh you know you can actually if, if you actually tap b button you can he can kirby does this in you know, a revolving around beam abilities infinitely 
Uh, they actually removed that. That kind of sucks. I really like that. And the beam ability, I don't actually use it all that often. But the fact that they kind of had to nerf, ner uh, you know, nerf that ability, which I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's what makes this ability a little broken, but. But, but anyway, there are some also sections to where you actually get to do a bit of a race against this key carrying dude right here. But especially in the later, uh, in, the, in the harder difficulties, these, that, you know, that dude actually runs really, really fast. So you actually gotta like really like, like, like literally gotta go fast. Hey, I recognize this dude. Festival, isn't this ability from Star Airlines? If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, this ability is a one-time usage. It's yeah, much like Crash. It and it actually did just that. And I forgot the details, but I still remember some of some of his details from Star Allies. Another perfect and smooth for number one bonus. Yeah, I think my commentary actually got improved uh, compared to my past self when I just started playing, you know, when I just actually started to Twitch and I'm not, and, and now here I am. Actually making myself a night even smoother and cleaner commentary. I still stuttering even to this day, but that's because I'm a man with a lot of thinkings and for me, I like to think before I actually speak, you know, and to recall what I was about to say. Oh. I think I forgot you can actually guard right here and then you can actually move this you can actually go for this side way like that I, Can you do an air dodge? Yeah, you can do air dodge, but you can't actually uh, you can you can't you can't actually move like you did in this uh, Smash Bros. Melee and or ultimate I mean, you, I mean that still technically is pretty dang cool though. I mean you can't I mean if you can't guard you still, uh, you still not get hurt. Uh, some of the abilities, uh, you can't actually guard it, but at least uh, that will allow you to not get. At least uh, that will prevent you from getting, you know, from you know. Yeah, if you actually could guard, at least that will reduce you to damage, and you won't get uh, knocked back. That actually can help helpful. But surprisingly, a lot of people, well, including myself, doesn't use that of all, you know, doesn't use that all, all, all that often. I don't know why. I was actually pretty dang close. Can I actually swallow you? No, I can't. Yeah, character development is actually so freaking real. Like, take Mario for example. Uh, like, take Mario for example. I mean, Mar you know, in, even in the past, you know, all Mario, uh, it, like, the only thing Mario could actually do was he could just run and crouch and then jump. That was pretty much it. But then later on, he actually gained all kinds of jumps, especially starting in Super Mario 64. Now he can do actually a triple jump. I don't know what the I don't know what the ticket was for. Yeah, but he can do uh yeah he can do the you know, triple jump and he can do that long jump and you know he can also do that wall jump too which uh, yeah, yeah yeah you know wall jump if, uh, back in the old days was actually pretty dang a uh, little difficult. You actually have to be making very time pre uh, precise wise, but but later on, especially during the sunshine, now you don't uh, now you actually can wait until you know. Yeah, Mario actually, you know, hangs on to the wall as he as he glides down like that. But yeah, but earlier days, if you if you press the jump button as you know Mario hits the wall, it's GG. So you actually kind of have to time it right. You you know, one miss time, you know, when when you press the jump button as you know Mario hits the wall too fast, but or but too slowly, well GG. You have to start this all over again. And 
you know, just like uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, he, uh, you know, all he could do was he he was actually running really fast at the speed of sound. But later on, he can actually do a homing attack, and you know, he can actually do that very boost, Sonic boost. And I believe on uh, it, it was at you know around Sonic Unleashed to where he he was able to uh, copy Mario as well, where he could actually uh, uh, he could do a wall jump too. <laughs> That's quite something. I guess, you know, maybe Sega did want to say that, hey, wall jump, Mario is not the only one who can do that. But maybe we have the second super ability, and that is Monster Flame. Where you just very... F I think, the, I think even the Monster Flame did have, did kind of change. Like that, to where... Yeah, yeah, you know how that, you know, that, that fire trail just had a bit of a wiggling, a wiggling like that? That was not a thing in the original, but I really like that. I really like that, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the fire color and texture seems like even more, more actual real fire than the prequel one. I'm, I'm sorry, the original one, I should say. <laughs> I almost forgot that some of these, I know, when you actually get hit, when, when you actually, when you actually destroy enemies like that with your super abilities, they almost break the fourth wall. That's really impressive. <laughs> but yeah, that was actually one of the finisher uh, for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well. Uh, for, uh, for Smash Bros. series as well. Because if you actually finish off the opponents upward, then either they would literally reach for the stars. Or they would actually almost break the fourth wall. Especially melee version. So that's really a nice change if nothing, if nothing else. And that was uh, also a new thing added to this game, you know, where if you burn a tree like that, it just falls over like that. Let's see what they have to offer in, he in here. What I'm really excited for this game, though, is that, you know, is, you know, is how they're going to deal with the... You know, uh, with the Magular epilogue, which I think I don't think it's actually a bit much of a sp uh, spoiler at this point because I mean, obviously, I mean the game already did. I mean, I mean the Nintendo Direct already told you about uh, about how if you actually beat the game, then you know if you actually beat the game, you know I think I think game already spoiled you. I, I think the game already spoils, uh, spoils you by, uh, spoils you, but, but, yeah, I think the Nintendo Direct already spoiled you already. But if you actually beat the final boss of this game, which is obviously turns out, you know, Magler, all right. But there's, uh, but doesn't, but that's not all there is to it. There's actually an epilogue that deals with how Magalor, uh, what happened to Magalor, and you know, it's going to tell, which I believe it actually does, uh, which does kind of explain how you know, M you know, Magalor decide to help Kirby, uh, a Kirby, uh, you know, Kirby, in the later games. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you that I was not, I. I yeah, there's no way in hell that I was not the only person who was surprised to see how Magalor actually decided to suddenly decide to join as allies in Kirby Star Allies, so... Yeah, the moment I saw it, and I was like, what the hell are you doing here? You know, I could, you know, I, even though I could say the same to other mem- other, some of the other members as well, you know, such as, you know, Marx? You know, the Marx? In, you know, especially Marx, I believe. But yeah, I just kind of did not want to care too much about it because I mean, once I dug into it too much, it is space. It's actually the area or the realm of the uh, you know you know it, it, it was actually the depth of the abyss realm, so to speak. And I oh well, I'm, I screwed up this time for a bit. I think I pressed a little too early, I guess. But well, I'm actually really interested to see how. I'm really interested in. I'm I'm really interested to see how you know, Magler, uh, you know, you know the Magler. Yeah, the, yeah, the Magler epilogue is going to be like. We didn't even stamp tickets. 
Stamp tickets can be redeemed for stamps in Mary Magdalene. Collect lots of stamps to get special souvenirs. Oh. At least the game is kind of to tell you what are these uh car uh, the, or the all you know all what uh what's what's up with these tickets uh, wh uh what are they for? And of course, what is a Kirby game that what is a Kirby game without uh without a wispy wood appearing as a boss? Oh, and you uh, and, and when boss actually goes up like that, they don't even take a damage. I guess the how I guess the people at the how laboratory did find and uh, did see someone people in the YouTube that they are trying to take advantage of that while they're actually being angry mode where their HP got lower half. Yeah, even uh, so, yeah, a, a lot of people have not noticed this, but yeah, I'll actually say it once I actually got this. I guess it's the or part, right? Where, where you can actually the or left and right wing. You did it, Kirby! My ship has its oars back! Thank you so much! I'm counting on you to find the other missing parts. Keep up the good work! And don't forget to keep an eye out for all, this, all those energy spheres. If you collect enough, the broken doors within my ship will act, uh, reactivate. There are some really cool sub-games that you can play with your friends. Not to mention copy ability rooms with all kinds of copy abilities to try out. And there are several challenge stages that will really test your skills. Ah oh, yes, this skill oh, all these tests. They are actually pretty dang challenging, even more so, especially if you actually go for 100%. And I can tell they've actually added some more new, uh, you know, ch challenges for the new, new copy abilities for this game. If you find enough energy spheres, reactivating those doors will be a breeze. So whenever you see one, be sure to grab it. Wow, you've already found 13 energy, energy spheres? Way to go, Kirby! You have reactivated the door to a challenge stage. It's over in the room on the right. Why not give it a try? Oh, it's a sword challenge. All right, I can I can give it a try. Can you reach the goal before time runs out? Go for the high score. I think there's also what I to call as a a platinum medal to where if you really if you really really do a great job like no damages and get all these coins, Kirby's uh, sword can cut ropes. Use an upward slash to easily defeat any foes above you. Reach the goal before the time is up. So if you take no damages and you know go for a really really good one, uh, you actually get platinum medals. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, as you saw, if you get hit by a and if if uh, if you get hit by an enemies even once, then yeah, that's your minus. So Well, I'm not trying to go for like all that much of a, com a completion or anything like that, but I just got to try what I can. Oh, 
come on. Yeah, just just wanted to tell, just wanted to show you. Or or I don't know if I don't know if they actually remove uh, remove the platinum and they suddenly decide to go for the just or just they they probably just think that your goal might be more than enough to show it to show that they've done the best of the best. I don't think, but I, I don't think they have actually changed that as well because. I for I didn't I forgot this was a thing. That was nice. Ah, oh, I was being a little too cautious. Oh my freaking god. No. Get running, just get running, don't look back, don't look back, and then thrust for the win. I was actually close. I didn't I, I at first I was really afraid if, if I get hit by that. Of biscuits. Oh, there goes the perfect. That was silver. Let's try that once more. I guess you actually gotta really defeat all the enemies.
I should have gone with the enemies first. Why? Why? Why did I do that? Oh, they actually had, had an extra room? Ah, no wonder I got silver. That was close. Should be better because I didn't get hit by it by once, and I got pretty much all the coins collected. Oh, I guess that's that. I'll, I'll just I'll just satisfy with gold uh gold ones. That's what matters. They actually removed that, uh, that 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 robot thing where you actually well four people would actually shoot and then they incorporate. I think that's gone. I kind I really I kind of like that. Maybe they would actually patch it for at least uh pay DLCs. I don't know. I I mean I mean don't I mean don't I, I mean don't get the wrong idea. I really do. I I mean I mean I really do like some of these you know the past mini games back, but I just kind of wished. They would actually bring more. <sighs> Let's go to Mary Magle Land. Let's see how that goes. This is the tale of a different world in a different time. There, a traveler named Magler built an, an amusement park where he could in entertain his friends. It was a many place where four friends could enjoy attractions and collect souvenirs all together. It was a park full of excitement where dreams could come to life. It was a place called Magoland. Manager Magolor. Wow, Magolor's a manager here, huh? Hey, Kirby. Welcome to Merry Magoland. There are a bunch of fun sub-game-based attractions for you to enjoy here. 
I, I even created a thrilling stamp rally. You can earn stamps just by playing our attra attractions. But that's not all. I also have a fun souvenir for you to commemorate the grand opening of Magoland. Got a Rattle D mask. I got a Rattle D, Rick. Energy drink. The souvenir shop in the entrance plaza will hold on to all of your souvenirs for you. Be sure to stop by and check it out later, okay? Now, get going, have fun playing our attractions! Wispy Woods has come to play in Magoland, at Merit Magoland, and I got his masks. surprising how these are pretty much locked back uh pretty much locked and now you can still uh in, in the main game but now you can actually play them off or you can actually play them right here yeah let's just play some oh yeah i remember this I believe this was actually a game in the Kirby and Amazing Mirror. Yeah, this was actually a fun game to play, even though it gets super, it actually gets really hard later on. Yeah, I believe this was actually in the, you know, the, whatchamacallit. Oh. That's a little- I, I got a little too late. But yeah, if you actually- uh, If you actually time it very well to almost like pretty much flawless, then it actually cracks the other side of Earth, where you basically, you know, crack Earth in, uh, you know, in half. I'll play something else. Hey Kirby! Oh, you've completed your first mission! I knew you I knew I knew you had it in you. If you complete a bunch more missions, I'll expand our our, our lineup of souvenir items. You might even see some extra special masks pop uh, pop up in there. There are hundred missions in total. Try your best to have fun and then complete them all. Wow, hundred? That's quite a lot. Bomb rally. And yeah, this was the thing in Kirby's uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Too. And yeah, is this? I bet this and there was actually a race of, you know, railway uh, racing with a star, uh, you know, old, you know, warp star. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Warp Star was a thing. In, uh, was a thing. In, uh, you know, the, in Nightmare in Dreamland. All right. Well, here goes the rally. Yeah, and and as the rally goes on. Yeah, the bomb actually travels faster. Oh, crap. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the closer you are to the bomb, it actually, you can actually travel the bam a lot faster, so. Oh, there goes Meta Knight.
Oh, there goes DDD. Oh, crap. Well, sometimes eating at a not at a not at a very close spot can actually be really helpful. Let's go for level two. <laughs> and bombs away. Welp! Good thing I didn't go for actual you know, rally between you know, the, the, you know, the, me, the pink one and the green one. Oh, here comes the level 3, the hard one. Oh, there goes the blue Kirby. Oh, fridge nugget. Your fortune nugget. Then I you that's what you get for trying to get me, pal. Or there goes the uh, was that green Kirby? Welp Oh that's blue Kirby, oh, never mind. Nice. What is this egg catcher? Press A op uh, open to wide uh, to open Kirby's mouth ma uh, mouth wide. Both eggs and bombs will be tossed away. Try to catch as many eggs as, uh, as many eggs as you can. Don't eat the bombs. What are the controls for this? If you don't mind me explaining this. Oh, it's not actually a rhythm base. Okay. Okay, it's not rhythm based. Okay, that's. Well, there goes the DDD um, egg, egg machine. Yeah, at first I thought you have to press. You have to. Do I have to tap A button? In order to. Do I have to tap A buttons in order to. Uh, do, I, do I have to tap A button like a rhythm based? Just like, you know, some of the uh, Mario, Mario Luigi series games? But nope, that's not the case. I did not mean to do that. I went. I meant to go for level, level two. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Why? Okay, why in the world did they, did this game's difficulty just got like just skyrocketed all of a sudden? Okay, one one uh, okay, one bomb eating is GG. Okay. Can I just tap it? I I don't think inhaling it all the way is not a good it's not a good idea, of, especially in here. Yeah, you have to hold it. see what's the actual inhaling range you know but if that was the case that would make me that would actually make, make it a little easier for me to actually watch uh you know when to stop but that's not even very easy Always gets me, Jesus Christ. I missed it. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna. Yeah, I, I'm not even gonna care. Tours are not available. Complete your way through four different attractions. Thanks for checking out our Magalor Magalor Tours. I can guide you on a special tour of the, the different sub game uh, attractions we have here at the park. Is this kind of like a tournament thingy? Each tour will take you through four attractions. The person with the most points at the end will be named the winner. Nah, not really. Of course, the other. 